humans have always looked to Mars as the next great frontier. But if we were to live there, how would we call home? In this Mars mission, we'll build and code a robot to activate a vital communications dish, connecting Mars to Earth using Lego Spike Prime. This mission isn't just about building a robot, it's about simulating how real space crews communicate across millions of miles. Can your robot complete the mission? We, I, sat it. Our satellite dish on Mars is down. It's up to you, robot engineer, to fix the satellite dish and allow us to communicate with Earth. Do you know what a satellite dish is? Can you explain how a satellite dish is used in deep space communication? Satellite dishes are a type of antenna that use radio waves to receive or transmit data. On a human mission to Mars, they'd be used to transmit messages between Earth and Mars. Radio waves travel at the speed of light, and because the distance between Earth and Mars is constantly changing, there's an approximate delay of between four and 24 minutes in communication between the planets. Can you imagine calling your friend and having to wait 24 minutes for them to actually receive your phone call? Our challenge this week is to build a robot that navigates to the satellite dish and then pushes it until it's fully upright, connecting our Mars base back to Earth. Once your robot has put the satellite in the upright position, it should return back to its starting point or home base. This is a really cool mission model that we're building, and we can build all of this with our LEGO Spike Prime kit, our rover, and our satellite mission. We start by building the satellite, and then we build a base for it. And this part of the base with all those purple blocks is going to be pretty stationary. This is the part that I attach tape to hold it down on my mission table. And then we build our swinging arm attached to the satellite. On top of that purple base, we're gonna build this long black beam assembly that's going to attach to that blue beam so that whenever it's pushed forward, it causes our satellite to swing up. We need that satellite beam to be a little bit flexible, and so we use this assembly to allow it to flex just a little bit so that when our robot smashes into that push gate, our satellite can go up and beam communications back to Earth. We also made a really cool robot this week that's different than the Driving Base 1. We'll post a video on how to build this one in the future, but it's got a great gearbox on the front. Engineers, here is your challenge. Start by building our satellite mission model. Next, set up a play area with your mission model somewhere in the play area and then a home base. Your robot must start the mission from the base area. Your robot must leave the base area before carrying out the mission. Once your robot has put the satellite up and pointed into the sky to get back to Earth, your robot should return to the base area. As long as your robot returns anywhere within the base area, you can grab it and call your mission a success. A successful mission ends with the satellite up and pointed towards the sky. In order for us to code our robot for this first mission with no obstacles in the way, we first have it drop its arm up and down just to practice with using that gearbox on the front side. And then we move forward for 26 inches, use our yaw turn to make a turn, move forward again to go push in the satellite, and then back up and return to home. If you're completing these missions with no obstacles, and fairly quickly, it's time to make things a little bit more challenging. Move an obstacle into the middle of your mission table. Take some time to make your measurements and figure out what yaw angles you're going to need to put in for your robot. And then change your code to go around the obstacle. Again, we start by putting our arm up and down just to test that gearbox. And then we start to move forward. We then do a yaw turn to the right of 75 degrees before we start driving forward 16 inches, hang a left, and go around our obstacle. We're gonna see this from a couple of different angles. Our robot makes it around the rover and is ready to make the satellite go into the upright position, allowing us to communicate back on Earth using those radio waves. Success.
Let's see that one more time, but a little closer up. Our robot makes that last turn, moves forward, turns into position. It's ready to push forward onto the satellite, almost taking the satellite right off the table. And then we start spinning to do a little bit of a dance. This robot mission is a fantastic one to get used to making yaw turns, to building mission models, as well as for learning about Mars. We, I, we're reading you loud and clear back here on Earth. Thank you so much for re-engaging the satellite with your Mars rover. We need more robot engineers like you. Please share the Spratronics Learning Lab YouTube channel with other people out there. Subscribe if you're not already, and be sure to follow us for more awesome missions and great ways to use your LEGO robotics kits. Satellite like a diamond in my eyes. Satellite.